times listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. The bell round one. Davis, Diego Magdaleno, who he starched in 53 seconds. Stay true to his brand. Ripping the fight in a long time. He hasn't had consecutive receive prodigious power. Davis proud sure. across the country. Yeah. McLeckton, who put the find a way to knock you out. And a great start for Isak Cruz. That punch could be foreshadowing for the future in this fight. Oh my. Cruz just staggered. Davis with the shorter. A slip. Uh, yeah, just a right hand that missed over the He wants to keep doing that because David, you know, he's really smart in finding openings. He's, 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 not, he's not throwing much punches. Oh, that but can't double cut again. There it is. Davis able to evacuate. Jab, and there's Davis. Yeah. This whole building is waiting for one of those uppercuts. The uppercut to detonate. So take who's that got Davis's attention as Davis looks to counter. Davis good. A version of those punches get dollars. Yeah, there Davis launches a left and Cruz along the ropes. Going to the moment. So we look here, he cranks up that left uppercut. It kind of bounces off. It's it's kind of jabber. We didn't see many jabs. He 15 of the 17 land. That uppercut finds a home to the body. Davis Cruz. He's trying face. to do that against this rugged. Oh, counter left hand bouncing off the nose of Cruz. And then the left to the body of Davis in movement using defense. Lulling Cruz in that goal, his punches. Oh, oh there Cruz he landed that right over. Oh, what does that mean, you believe? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, there's that left uppercut again. Davis trying to get those uppercuts in. And here he winds up with one. And there, a very conscious effort by Cruz to block this. Out of volume punching from Lou. Oh, and the jab and the right uppercut. So far, oh, oh. now we right up. up, and there's again the uppercut in the straight left by Davis, and that's and doing what we've seen his uh, promoter do a nice right, right hand. Oh, Davis was right there, yeah, giving the opportunity. And that but yet not the right one. He has. Here's where he gets through. That's that short, short right, right hand, hand that we talked about. That's the uppercut, and again, it lands a little bit, Abner, your point. So while we talk about him as a power puncher, uh, he's on cue. 58-56. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's oh, big uppercut by Cruz. He's got a great right hook, and, and that the one stunned anticipates Javante. And he's almost getting there, and this one got there. A very good one. Targeting uh, the head of Cruz. Cruz using a little more head movement, and... Again, the uppercut, a lot of grappling as we head to round nine. Look at us and tell us, guess what? I'm not just a big power puncher. I have boxing. He's had good moments in this round, and there he rips a uppercut or right to the body, then a nice uppercut. Uh, a nice. But it's Davis utilizing the range and all. Late scores for Davis in, in that last round. You know, we talk about the variety of punches. There's people don't always associate with him, but he can punch very well in combination. The uppercut power puncher like Davis. When you see a tenth round, you think, oh, maybe it's a boring fight. Oh, maybe he's not fighting well. He's just started out doing pretty well. You know, he's certain spots where he's a jab as well. That left hook by Cruz, though, was the oh, best. Uh, did some great work with the right hook. He's just yes. a pretty good round. There he, you know, he, he's working the body. And here comes that left hook. That was a good left hook he landed. He did to defeat Gervonta Tank Davis. Seven. Yes, you can do it for Isak Cruz. Really close fight. Full-throated crowd at Staples Center. And to some... Davis just wanting to continue on wow, that sweet looking lead right uppercut by David Being used as expected I'm losing that right hook and and Cruz this is torn to think this is right's close good right hook again by a one handed fighter that is delivering dividends the jab and Cruz on the Javante Tank Davis the Staples Center enjoying what they've seen 
Absolutely, and for this young man, it's a he proved his worth as a lightweight. It, it could have easily created a, a, a more serious injury, and he kind of got tripped there over the leg of... And still, the undefeated WBA lightweight champion of the world, Gervonta Tank Day.